found a new way to extort money from unsuspecting people. The victims don't know anything's wrong until they're slammed with huge fines. Local 12 troubleshooter Howard Ain tells us they discover they're named in trumped-up lawsuits. It's a nightmarish scenario. Someone files a trumped-up lawsuit against you without you ever knowing it. A judge then rules against you and you end up owing thousands of dollars. This has happened to dozens of people. Once, once he's got you, he will never let you go. Mark Wychik is talking about the man who was selling his dream piece of property. It was a beautiful little five-acre piece of land on a, on a hillside with a southern exposure. I fell in love with the land. Wychik trusted the soft-spoken seller, but now, $25,000 in legal fees later, he believes that was a serious mistake. We have spent countless hours, time, money, trying to get justice, and not only trying to get justice, but trying to get him out of our life. Bernard Seidling would file bogus uh, small claims actions in various courts uh, throughout the state. He would file the lawsuit in, in a county in which the victim did not reside. He did it to Mark Wycheck, who, by the time he learned a court had ruled against him in his absence, was facing a judgment of more than $5,000. The victims didn't know they were being victimized. They wouldn't find out until they wanted to sell their home or buy a car. He preys on people who can't afford lawyers, and if they don't get a lawyer and they roll over and try to walk away, he will come after them for the last penny. Authorities say Seedling did it to 77 different victims, attempting to extort them out of more than $370,000. There's absolutely no doubt that he was after money. In the end, Seedling did not get any from the victims. Instead, he ended up being sentenced to three years in federal prison and fined $10,000. But Whitecheck is convinced that's not the end of the story. I have no doubt that after those three years are up, he's coming after me. To protect yourself from this type of scam, regularly check your credit report, and there are a number of websites that allow you to do that for free. Howard Ain, Local 12 Troubleshooter.